Hi VFC and welcome to uh, this. This is session eight um, of our devotion series at the beginning of week two. Can you believe it? Um, but today we're going to be talking about being filled with the Holy Spirit. Um, and we're going to start off in Ephesians 5 and verse 18. And it says this, it says, don't be drunk with wine because that will ruin your life. Instead, be filled with the Holy Spirit. You know, what we are filled with changes us. A person that is filled with alcohol eventually comes, succumbs to the influence of alcohol. If you ever felt a food coma, you know that filling yourself up with too much food at lunch means struggling to stay awake for your afternoon classes and meetings. The Holy Spirit changes us to be more like Christ. The Holy Spirit is not, is not an impersonal force or a power. He is a person. You know, the Holy Spirit gives us wisdom and helps us to know the truth. He helps us in our weaknesses and teaches us how to pray. When we allow the Holy Spirit to enter our lives, we come under his influence and control. This means that the Holy Spirit begins to influence every area of our lives. Our thoughts, perspectives, our words and our actions. So in Ephesians 5.18, in this verse, Paul tells believers to be filled with the Holy Spirit. This means we are to make full, to fill up continually with the Holy Spirit. We cannot be filled with the Holy Spirit if we are simultaneously allowing wrong desires, thoughts and attitudes into our lives. Begin each day in a posture of surrender to the Holy Spirit and allow him into every area of your life. If you're baptized in the Holy Spirit, make praying in tongues a regular discipline. And if you're not, pray and ask God for the baptism of the Holy Spirit. So as we go into this song, um, now, we're just going to reflect. So what have you allowed into your life today? Is it negative thoughts of worry, wrong attitudes? As you identify these areas, surrender and yield each one to God. And is there an area in your life that you have sought to control in your own strength? Ask God to show you what these are and invite the Holy Spirit into those areas.
Father, help me to empty myself of everything of this world and fill me with your Holy Spirit afresh today. I choose to surrender every area of my life to you and submit to the Holy Spirit's leading in my life. In Jesus' name, amen. Thanks, guys. I'll see you again.